Hello there, this is Merlek, and welcome to episode 13 of my Kingdom Come Deliverance. It started raining, as per bloody usual, when, you know, I'm trying to make a good impression. No doubt my uh, attire is going to get absolutely rickety wrecked. Um, I really said that, rickety wrecked. But at the moment, I mean, I'm not looking like a complete peasant, so I'm, I'm alright. Um, yeah, let's see if I can talk my way past these guys, because I don't think they're going to let me pass just on the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Will that be the Smith's son, Hal? Holy shit. Oh, my soul. It is him. Do you two? What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. I mean, yeah. Bandits attacked me in Scullets. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and banders did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you will be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. <laughs> You're right. And just what are you doing here? I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the night's hall. Nice. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. I have literally got a sword no. there. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. He's He's got... Yaroslav here. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming based on the Slav bit at the end that it would be pronounced Yaroslav. Or Yaroslav. Um, rather than Jaroslav. Um, I think he, he was Janek. He's, is he looking at me funny? Or is that... Oh, oh, he's blushing. I think he fancies me. Oh, my God. Um, this is a bit awkward. Right, I best get going. Um, are they in here? Maybe not in there, but uh, it's leading me that way. Oh, there's a dude over there. Hey, dude. Oh, well, who's that hooded person? I wish I could walk around people like that. Oh, good, they're moving. Because I don't think they're... Well, they might be higher up, I don't know. Um, well, that's a privy. That's a lockpick. I'm not sure whether I'm supposed to be in this area specifically. What's what was that noise? Nothing. Nothing at all. What are you doing here? It's all right. Get lost, or you'll have me to reckon with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're probably right. I apologize. Is something the matter? No, no, nothing at all. Okay, I don't think that this is the place. Just, uh, just a hunch. Hey, dude. Oh, it's he's in here somewhere. Oh, hello. Your graces. I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. <coughs> Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirchstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. 
Klepstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hamish. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits <laughs> for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. Oh, wow, I just barge in. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. <laughs> oh, sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <coughs> your father was a remarkable man, and your mother, well, she was remarkable too. Oh my. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <coughs> the miller's daughter? Save you from the footpads? Oh, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. <coughs> you, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Yeah. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their grave. <laughs> I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven. As long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything <laughs> left to bury, <laughs> that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. <laughs> One skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad. I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage, but you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, 
Duke Sedivish lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything? Hmm? Don't Courage give him and ideas. Obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. <laughs> My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. <laughs> oh my he's a peasant God. father, he's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, I'd like to enter my service. So, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't you disappoint me. Well, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't what? forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Ah, it's not going to be easy. That guy does not like me. What are you doing? I'm just spawning after a cutscene. What are you doing? around like a foot pad. Everyone has to carry a light at night by law. Um um I I sorry. I'm just going to kind of wander this way, you know? Carry a light around by law. Would that I could. I mean, do I even have a torch? I mean, it would be one of the ones things I possibly kept. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Better. It's right here. Now, fuck off. Honestly, people. People just, you know, they're getting on my back about things, and they've got no clue what they're on about. It's rude, I tell you. Do I do need to, you know, start sneaking around better? <laughs> I need, like, my, my set of thieves' clothes, you know? Set of thieves, a good set of thieves' clothes will be uh, will be really nice to get a hold of. Um. Oh, ah, that that could be useful. Hmm. I do like the idea of the final offer thing, the boost to that. That definitely is interesting. And it's going to take me a few levels to get something else, so... Hmm. So I can either sort of head down the path of being a trader, or someone who's speaks to posh people or someone who speaks to lowborn people because the next rating would be something more about talking to people haggling 
Hang on, he increases your speech skill when haggling. I'm just guessing it's just, yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> wow. So basically, I just become a fancy man. Okay. Well, I think the final offer is what I'm going to go for. And my main level... I hadn't decided, had I? I think I'd clicked through... And not really... Not really... Nothing had jumped out at me, you know? I need to gain two more levels. And then... In fact, actually, you know what? Level 6 is looking a lot nicer for skills. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I think that would probably be the best bet. Wait for, for main level 6. Um... Okay. Um. So, I suppose I should check my quests. So, I, I'm just kind of like, what the hell do I do? My main quest is train hard. Side quest, good thief, mightier than the sword. It's night time. Um. 50 groschen. Spade. Oh, good God. I don't know how to pickpocket. It's something I've never done, and I feel my gut, my gut feeling is trying to steal from a guard... Just, it doesn't feel like it's the right thing to do. So I'm going to find a shovel. Because I do actually vaguely remember there being a... A note with the mill dude. And I also need to get some sleep. It's late. Um, but yeah, you have to carry a light by law at night. It's an interesting law. I kind of get it. Because if you're not carrying a light, then you attract attention. It's like, what are you doing sneaking around in the dark kind of thing? Like this dude. This dude I don't like. What are you doing sneaking around? Good health to you. Yeah, there's nothing... Hello. Yeah, because there's no... I could knock him out, but there's no option to steal from him. So it's like... It's not obvious how I'm supposed to do that. Well, yeah, fair enough. I'll figure it out eventually. Miller seems like a dodgy person, so he might know someone. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that... um. Just random food in the part here. Yeah. I need to get to sleep. This does not look like my home. Weirdly, I, I kind of want to knock out this person.
I kind of I don't really feel bad doing that actually. Um, I'm curious as to what the keys are for. Well, not what. Obviously, I know what they're for, but it'd be curious to know, you know, where I can. Um, oh, well, the little bed. Oh, he's uh, he's up and about at this time. Although I say this time, I don't actually know what time it is. Well, it's getting late. It's, um... Oh, no, it's not. Obviously, it is late. Hey, dude. Um, I need a... Sh yeah. Where can I find a shovel? There's one right outside, leaning against the cart. Cool. Can you tell me... Hmm... Do you know Sir Bernard, the rat eye captain? He's a grumpy bastard. But fair, I'd say. Okay, well, that sounds good. What's Sahan's cape on, like? Ah, that worthless dandy. <laughs> Sahanish has to knock some sense into him, or I dread to think what will become of this place when he takes over. Wow. What's Sahan's oh, cape so, on? Wrong like? one. Ah, that worthless dandy. Sahanish has to knock some sense into him, or I dread to think what will become of this place when he takes over. What's the local lord like? Sahanush? He treats his people well, but he's tough as an old oak. The way things are these days, I wouldn't wonder if he and his men started kicking some asses. Cool. That's all. God be with yeah, I, I, I don't want to spend the money, but okay. Uh, shovel by the, uh, by the cart. Is it an other, do you think? Is it a, it's not a weapon. Yes, it is a weapon. I don't like how he's left the... Um, yeah, witch car, I suppose. Outside by the cart. I don't see. Did I nick it? You know what I mean? It's like, did I already grab it? No, I didn't. Well, I've already seen two carts, so you never know. There might be more. Yeah, he really needs to get some of his uh, his goods back indoors. Because they're just going to get wet. You know, all this flour. And I know you're supposed to get flour wet at one, at some point, you know, the process, it does involve wet flour, but I don't think rainwater at night is exactly what they were planning on. It's really annoying because this is clearly the cart. But even with a light, I'm struggling to see and I can't jump because oh there's a cart over here. Oh bloody hell, yeah, there is a second cart. Over by the cart, he says. Right, well, I'm going to get me some rest.
think it's up here, isn't it? Be probably sensible for me to close the door since it's raining. Well, I mean... Yeah. Maybe it'd be a bit rude, wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't want to mess up these... Go oh, fucking hell. That's kind of where I was planning on sleeping. Is this a case of, I'm allowed to sleep in this building, but, you know. Maintenance. Goodness for that. Fragrance. Oh. I like the look of that one. Although I am a charisma -y person. But laundered clothes, I mean, how, how often am I going to get freshly laundered clothes? Let's leave it for now. The fact that I've gone up a level in maintenance again is is good. Um, let's get some sleep. Yeah. Oh boy, I got a busy day tomorrow. I hope that this is early enough for them. Wow, creeps on that last bit. Oh boy. See, I can see mud and dirt on my clothes, but they're fully repaired. So obviously their dirt, their dirtiness, is a separate mechanism. I guess I'm digging up the dead today. Yeah, my clothing is still, um, still dirty. See, that's the thing. I need freshly laundered clothes. But there's no obvious, like, how dirty are the clothes? time limit for digging up the grave. Yeah. I wasn't particularly, um... Yeah, I was a bit sleepy. That looks like it's behind, so I probably should go up that way. Bloody rain. Though in fairness, I'm an idiot. 
I need to drop off all these books. Yeah, because this is stuff that I can... Yeah. Basically, ill-gotten gains. That's what I'm talking about. Ill-gotten gains. All go in here. The padded black coif is a bit crap. Wow, the tailor's kit's really knackered. I mean, that's got my capacity down quite a bit. Oh yeah, I mean, that's much better. Speed of movement is now a thing. Hopefully I can get to the training yard this way. And hopefully, being a little tardy time-wise is not going to be of a detriment. to get up there actually because that cliff looks a bit you know what I think a bit of exploration is not going to do me any harm unless by exploring I end up you know mutilating myself into some bandit sword blade oh, we've got a little pond lake thing It works, or at least it has done in the past, this jump in to boost my uh, vitality. So as far as I'm concerned, it's worth doing. It's probably worth checking to make sure it is actually doing it. You see, 40, current, current XP, 40. Forty-seven, you see? Totally worth it. Hmm. Yeah, I need to... We'll get up to there and then head back round and that might actually work. Looks like there's a path going in there somewhere. Yeah, maybe I should just keep an eye on my surroundings a little. At some point, I need to head back to uh, Tal... Talmouth? Talmouth? Uh, something like that, isn't it? Um, Talberg. Because I stashed all those things in that chest. And I need to recover them. Assuming that they're still there, of course. <laughs> 